<laughs> so uh, how did the idea for Talk To Me come about? Oh my gosh, that, uh, so many different parts inspired different parts. There was a short film that a guy named Daley Pearson mm -hmm. uh, sent to us, uh, which was a really good starting point for, for like a, a, a kids having fun with position film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, how would you say that Talk To Me differs from other uh, possession style horror films? I guess our take, uh, maybe because it's a modern take and yeah. like what how kids would, we wanted to make a yeah a modern film so how kids would be reacting if there was something like a Ouija board or something like that. I feel like that's actually, a good work. Yeah, yeah. I feel like if you could actually get possessed and do it, you could record it and upload it and everyone would be doing it. Because like yeah. back in the day it's like don't walk into the dark forest and don't do these things whereas now mm -hmm. it's do it and film it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how did the idea for the hand come about? Uh, it was just thematically, touch and human connection was all the way through the first draft of the film. And uh, it just felt right. It, it, like, it represented everything that we were talking about thematically in the first draft of the film. Mm -hmm. So we found the hand in the second draft. And uh, yeah, initially it just said haunted object. <laughs> so I'm so glad we found the hand. And, uh, yeah, it was, if I wonder what it would have been if we never found the hand, what would it have been? Ouija board? Yeah, we would have just been a Ouija board. <laughs> we would have said our screw it, just a Ouija board in there. So what was the biggest challenge of the casting, particularly the role of Mia? Well, the most difficult part was losing budget by casting her because oh. she wasn't a name yet, and so like uh, we lost budget by casting her, but we were just so confident in her and her auditions and like just her as a person. We really, really loved her. So we are, uh, yeah, we reinvested, reinvested our fees to get her because we just we knew that she was amazing. Oh well, yeah, she really makes the film like how how she's able to like change personality when she becomes possessed. So yeah, 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 yeah. oh yeah. And what was fun about the possession sequences was every actor did each other's possessions, <laughs> so like no one was embarrassed about anything, and you could also pick and choose and grab mm -hmm. from everyone's interpretations or betrayals and build your own performance, which mm -hmm. was an awesome thing that we did in pre. So, um, like, the, the film establishes, like, the quote-unquote rules of possessions, but then breaks them pretty much right away. So yeah. how, how would you say, like, um, the film plays with, like, audience expectations? Well, we wanted the kids to be in over their heads. They, they have a set of rules that they think are the right ones, but it's not <laughs> parents. That's not, you know... They, yeah, they're messing with something they don't understand. And we've got a really thick mythology bubble that break, breaks down everything about the hand, like where it came from, who's had it, what the rules are. And uh, we wanted the kids to have, it's like Chinese whispered has been passed down between so many mm -hmm. people, so they don't exactly know what it is that they're dealing with. Yeah, and, and, and uh, I like that the film doesn't really fully provide answers either. Yeah, yeah. Huh. We didn't do the uh, go to the library and find, you know, yeah. look online and we see yeah, where the just hands came be, from. They're out of their depth. So, um, like, um, well, it's, uh, the film is VBS in Canada, but elsewhere it's A24, which has, like, the reputation of doing, quote-unquote, elevated horror. So how does it feel to be in, like, the same company as, like, Hereditary and The Witch? It still does not feel well, it, we real. Feel, yeah. If there was one word to describe it, I'd say under undeserving. <laughs> we feel like, yeah, it's so odd. We were so flattered that they approached us, and we couldn't believe that they wanted to purchase the film, and they, they were really, really, they really badly wanted it. We and love them, like, but, you know, we're, they're so, that's such a prestigious company, even the, all the directors and everything, we were at a party, and all the directors were there, and 824 actors, and we were just in the corner, like, we, we, we should not be in this room. <laughs> we should not be in this we room. We feel like we're very, yeah, yeah, yeah. We feel like we're not filmmakers. Yeah. yeah. So did you actually meet Eric? Ari Aster? <laughs> we text Ari Aster. He texted us. We've, we've hung out with him like five times now. Yeah. Friends he, of Ari. He loved the film, which was insane. That he, um, yeah, yeah, so he reached out. It was so cool. It feels like I love talking to him because we just share like on set stories yeah. and things and, and ideas and stuff. He's amazing. We, yeah, love, we love him. We love him. So, so bit of, I had a bit of like deja vu watching the film because like there's the early scene where they come across an, um, an injured kangaroo on the road. Yeah. And like last year, also at Fantasia, there was this um, Australian horror film called Sissy, and it has a scene with an injured kangaroo on the road. So oh my god, is, really? this, is this a common thing? You, you stole the idea! <laughs> I've not seen Sissy. Sissy, I need to see this. I need sissy. to see Sissy. Wow. It's on the shutter. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah, check it out. The, the um, Australians, that's a common occurrence. There's the, like, if you drive down the road to Australia, there is a kangaroo sign. A kangaroo sign. Yeah, it's and a beer. You always drive like, oh, yeah, let's go back down. They, they, they're, like, they are attracted to the light or whatever. They always jump in front of cars. And it's like, a, yeah. I know, I heard it's the warmth of the road. It's like the warmth a, of the road. Kangaroos, koalas, yeah, children. Yeah. <laughs> 
come over. <laughs> We've run over the ball. <laughs> but yeah, the difference between our one and Sissy is that we actually ran over the kangaroo. We did what? Not. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's an, it was a, it was a uh, puppet. I actually no. controlled the animal's ear. Yeah, Michael, yeah, was controlling the ear. Yeah, keep ranking about that. No one cares. I was, you know, with it. <laughs> <laughs> the ear. Okay, so what do you hope audiences ultimately take away from Talk To Me? That we copy Sissy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, that um, I, I just want them to be able to connect to the characters in some way and, and feel like, uh, especially young people, for, to see themselves be, maybe portrayed in a cool way on screen. And uh, we don't see much of Australian suburbia as well, I don't mm -hmm. think, in, in, in film. Like, there's a lot of country and there's a lot of, like, um, Bayside, but I, I just see a lot of suburbia. So I love that we're able to bring that to the screen. And then also, just for it to be rewatchable, re I'd love for people to go on to watch Talk To Me and, and want to see it again mm -hmm. would, be, would be awesome. Oh, and the last note, note which just came to mind. Um, so, so mo mo most of the cast in the film is like relatively unknown, but then you have Miranda Otto who is yeah. like the mother. So how did you get her? <laughs> well, thank God that she came on because having her allowed us to get even more unknowns. So, <laughs> so she gave us the freedom in casting. And we felt so intimidated by it when she came on set. Yeah, it's like, who are we to direct Miranda Otto? <laughs> yeah. But she was so warm and open for collaboration. Uh, and she just, you know, fit in on set yeah. perfectly. She was like a cool auntie. I remember when she was first coming to set, we were all debating whether or not we should play the Lord of the Rings theme. <laughs> yeah, and then our producer's like, do not do that. And I was like, ah. I, I thought it could be funny, but yeah. Okay, that's my time, so. Awesome. Okay. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thank you.